Tonight, an 80-year-old veteran says he's living in fear of losing his Lodi home, but not to the bank. New tonight, as CBS 13's Marley Ginter explains, the house he shared with his late wife is now at the center of a fierce legal battle with a church. I'm not even mad at him. They always took me to court. I never fought him. Just the judge said, well, it belongs to James Brown because he's the husband, and that's why I'm here. James Brown doesn't want to leave his home, but after a six-year court battle with his church, he may be forced to. According to his late wife Louise's trust, she left 25% of the house to the American Cancer Society and 75% of their house to the First Baptist Church of Lodi. If I had a place to go, I'd leave. But my wife is here. She's still here. She, you know, she might be gone to other people, but to me, she's still here. I loved her. Is the church trying to take the home away from an older veteran? No, we, the church is not trying to take the, the rightful home away from um, from an elder, an older veteran. Of course not. I talked with lead pastor Glenn Barnes over the phone. Brown's attorney tells me the church is accusing him of not taking care of the property. Pastor Barnes couldn't talk specifics on the court case, but did tell me the church would never kick a rightful owner out of their house. Our our church has got just a you know, a, a hundred plus year history of serving this community, caring for vulnerable people, caring for the people of our community. Luis's trust also states that if Brown is still in the house after she dies, he can continue to live there unless he moves or dies. I still love her and her dog is still here. We're still here. We're not gone yet. God hasn't chosen to take us yet. This story makes the church look like a monster. Yeah, well, I think that, you know, the, the, the court documents, which is what I, you know, can't get into, but our public record, you know, will we'll explain all of this. I hope that God will forgive them at church what they're doing to me. Well, Brown had a hearing over the House earlier this week. His attorney tells CBS 13 they're now set to go to trial in January when a judge will decide if his rights to the House are terminated. Mm.